Previous NSA contractual worker Edward Snowden has scrutinized the uprightness of Russia's presidential race just before leave surveys indicated President Vladimir Putin had won a fourth term in office in an avalanche. The vote stuffing seen today in Moscow and somewhere else in the Russian decision is a push to take the impact of 140 plus million individuals, Edward Snowden said in a tweet. Request equity, request laws and courts that issue. Take your future back. Snowden, who has been living in Moscow since 2013, at that point connected to a clasp of one of the various rounds of claimed poll stuffing in Sunday's vote. Edward Snowden was allowed political haven by Russia in 2013 after he released mystery data from the National Security Agency's illicit reconnaissance programs, and has been living in Moscow from that point forward. Fault finders have hammered the Russian race as a sham, taking note of the Kremlin had prohibited resistance extremist and driving Putin adversary Alexei Navalny from the poll, and forced confinements on some decision screens. Free decision on lookers and activists have asserted various episodes of tally stuffing and different inconsistencies in Sunday's vote. The non legislative decision checking bunch Golo has hailed no less than 2,000 occurrences, including eyewitnesses being kept from observing voting areas. Vladimir Putin is currently set to stay in control until no less than 2024. He is as of now Russia's longest-serving pioneer since Soviet despot Joseph Stalin. This isn't the first run through Snowden, who moved to Russia in 2013 after his dangerous hole of NSA-related material, has been incredulous of the Kremlin. It is, notwithstanding, by a wide margin his most pointed feedback, and one that caused worry from supporters for his security. Because of inquiries concerning the rationale of condemning Russian experts so openly, Edward Snowden reacted by expressing that every one of us are given a set number of days to have any kind of effect. Life is a decision to live to something, or to kick the bucket in vain.